and this is the beginning of Maska hike here in Tenerife it starts here at Santiago del Teide small town in the mountains and then it goes down to Maska and it should take about three hours it's a lovely sunny day here in Tenerife 22nd of January 2020 Temperature is still about 18, but it will go up to 2022. 20, no clouds in the sky. Absolutely gorgeous. This hike is very busy. I can see now a group of 20 people going there. And it's um, 9 o'clock a.m. So I know a day like this will be quite busy. Almond trees in bloom in January beautiful it's not too bad yet but it's getting steep we gained height quite quickly it's only 15 minutes in the walk and we quite high now so we're going up there it will be easier afterwards the terrain is quite rocky now Smells lovely. Smell of pine forest. And Santiago del Teide is two kilometers, which we have done already. And then to El Palma is 6.9 kilometers, but Masca is not even on the sign. So I hope this is the right route, really. You follow white and yellow markings. Some gorgeous views now. Absolutely stunning. Down below is the town of Santiago del Teide, where we started the hike from, which is uh, two kilometers away. The last section of a climb. So we should be at the top in maybe two or three minutes and should be able to see the gorgeous village of Masca and the surrounding cliffs. Oh, okay, that's it. So now we need to hike down for six more kilometers. The hike is now easy because it will be downhill for about five more kilometers. And we'll get to beautiful village of Masca. This net is actually for collecting water. When it's cloudy, the droplets get to the net and then fall down. And you see, that's for water. Nice dog. Now we're entering the quite dense forest. It's quite steep now. I don't think these trees ever see the sunlight. Wow. These trees get moisture from the clouds because it's quite high here. I think it's about 1200 meters above the sea level. So very often it's cloudy. Maska is down there, so we should get there soon.
And finally, Maska appeared on a sign. It's 2.8 kilometers from here. In that village there, it's called Las Portelas. Stunning views. I think that's the best, the best hike in Tenerife with stunning views all the time. Okay, the village is not far now. I guess it will take us another 20 minutes, half an hour, because that path is going steeply downhill. Yeah. And the Masca village is behind that hill over there. And Lagunera is over there in the distance. A little bit cloudy. Masca Gorge on one side and the view on the other side is stunning as well. In this little town. I'm getting quite warm now. The temperature is about 21, 22 already. Perfect t-shirt weather in January. What more to ask for? It's not masker yet, it's just an uh, observation point in a restaurant. Last kilometer and a half from the restaurant to masker itself. Final push, isn't it, my dear? And this is the beginning of Masca village. <laughs> what a place to settle down, to build a village. What a place. Definitely the last section of the road to Masca is walking on the road itself, which is not a great experience, to be honest, because the roads are quite narrow. Moscow. What a wonderful place. The village of Maska is impressively isolated in a picturesque gorge and is generally considered Tenerife's prettiest village. It's located in the northwest at the foot of the Tenno Mountains. Its pretty old stone houses are looking out across palm trees and in probably steep ravine walls towards the Atlantic Ocean. It's hard to imagine what inspired the village of Masca in the first place. It was only connected by road to the outside world in 1991. The only way to get there by then was on a horse or a donkey. Or as we did, hiking from Santiago del Teide or climbing 600 meters from Los Gigantes coast. But now, more accessible, Masca has become a center of attraction for those touring the island. The population hovers around 100, with most of the villagers remaining here only to service tourist needs. Masca is magnificent at every angle. No poetic words can do justice to the beauty of this quaint little village hidden in the folds of the Tenno Mountains. Also known as the Machu Picchu of the Canaries, the village center is situated along a ridge underneath a bullet-shaped pinnacle. Steep ravine walls rising on either side of the village add to its beauty. Beyond the pinnacle, framed in the V-shape of the ravine, is the view of the Atlantic Ocean in the island of La Gomera. The setting of the village is truly magical. Its houses perch precariously on the narrow ridges of dramatic rock formations. It's really photographer's dream destination. There are colorful stories about the small community 
suggesting that it was once a pirate village. However, many villagers attest to the impression's fallacy. Nevertheless, the remoteness of the village, preserved even after its rise to fame, has an intriguing air in it. Curious travelers even dive deep to the fascinating tales of witchcraft and legends from the village local records. If you visit Tenerife, make sure you find time to stop over at this fascinating village. Surrounded by stunning nature and offering a great opportunity to explore the less known rural part of the island. You won't be disappointed. I mean, seriously, the size of the stakes are, are just amazing. It's just a double, maybe triple the sizes of stakes in England. This steak is just enormous. I don't think I'll, I'll be able to eat it. Ten minutes later, you all right? Too much. There's definitely a restaurant with a perfect view. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. The best thing. Cheers. This is our favorite drink with the um, barachico. Three layers of different things. And then we do this, and the taste is simply amazing. If you want to do the Masca Gorge hike and you wonder if it's still closed, in January 2020, this is the answer. And this is the beginning of the walk. As you can see, it's still closed. It's actually closed since 2018. And look, someone's written closed since 2018. Shame on you. Yeah, I agree with that. He's a good driver, he is.
And we're back to a beautiful Santiago del Teide after a very enjoyable hike. We spent a couple of hours in Masca having lunch and the day is absolutely stunning. And the hike is done. I can strongly recommend this hike. Santiago del Teide to Masca. It takes about three hours, three hours and a half. And then you can uh, get a bus to get back to Santiago del Teide. It costs only about 140 euro. And it's an excellent day out. Strongly recommend it. <laughs>